Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. I said that we'd probably do another Universal Mummy movie, and we are... The Mummy's Hand! Uh, I'm not sure why it's called that. He only has use of really one of his arms in this movie, so I guess that's why? I don't know, but it's a cool title. Um... This is the quote-unquote sequel to the Mummy movie we reviewed last time with Boris Karloff, except it alters a lot of details. Like, it seems like the first one just straight up didn't happen. And instead, the princess's tomb was never uncovered. And in this movie, they're uncovering it for the first time along with the Mummy. And they reshot the scenes about his backstory. Because his backstory is the same, but they reshot the scenes of a different actor because Boris Karloff isn't in this one. And then that actor plays the mummy. So the same stuff happened in ancient Egypt, but there's different things happening in the present. So it might be a little confusing if you watch them back to back. But this is basically a reboot. The sequel is basically also a reboot. Um, and to be completely honest, I was not the biggest fan of this film. It takes a long time to get started, and the first one gets, like, the first one gets started, like, right away. This one takes a long time to get started. The mummy is just a basic monster. He has no real character, because in the original, he had this ca real character. He was a real, really good character. And in this one, he can't even talk he looks like a stroke victim because one of his legs is like... Because, like, his right side is that doesn't work. Because he doesn't get enough leaf juice. Because that's how they bring him back to life. And he seems... Almost too easy to defeat in the end. The comedic relief is actually... In my opinion, the comedic relief was the actual hero of this film. Because he stops the mummy from drinking enough of the leaf juice to become truly immortal and all-powerful. Uh, but speaking of the comedic relief, this film is basically a horror comedy. It's a really charming film in that respect. Uh, it's, the, it's kind of the way horror comedies should be. In a horror comedy, the thing that's supposed to be horrifying needs to be played straight. And The Mummy is played straight in this film. Uh, the mummy isn't doing jokes. Have you ever seen that movie, Feast, where, like, the monsters are humping stuff the whole movie? It's stupid, because the monsters aren't played straight, so there can't be anything scary. Uh, but in this movie, like, there's a lot of comedic relief. Like, the whole first half of the movie is basically a comedy. And in the second half, the horror elements show up. But the mummy is played straight, and that's how horror comedy should be. You can have your comedy, but you need to play your monster straight. That way you can, that way there can still be a horror element and not just a comedy. You know? So, all in all, what are my final thoughts on The Mummy's Hand? I mean, I'm just, I wasn't super impressed with it. I've seen better Mummy movies from the era, perfect, to be perfectly honest. Because the first one is incredible, but my big complaint about it was that it was basically the same story as Dracula. And then I even watched a documentary on that movie, and they all they did was... And in the documentary, everyone was like, It's basically just Dracula. <laughs> so I'm glad there are people out there who agree with me. But this one, um... The Mummy himself was pretty good. The makeup and costume for The Mummy were... Were quite cool. The, uh... They did this thing where they darkened The Mummy's eyes frame by frame, so they didn't look human, so they looked dead. I thought that was a really good touch, actually. Uh, but if you watch the theatrical trailer, they aren't that way in the trailer because they couldn't finish the effect in time. But this movie, I mean, it's a must-watch for Universal Horror fans or Mummy fans because it's just one of the classics. But to be completely honest, if you're a casual moviegoer, you can probably just skip it if you're not a big fan of this type of thing. Because The Mummy's Hand isn't bad, but it's pretty generic. Uh... I, I wasn't super impressed. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And next time we're doing the next Mummy movie, The Mummy's Butt Plug. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck you.